the train system. The telephone. The automobile. Some of the greatest innovations known to mankind. We will not be talking about them today. Can you imagine a world without the telephone? It's tough to do, right? And imagine like the telephone has become so ingrained in our society that many can't imagine life without it. But what few realize is that there are many inventions that don't change our way of life at all. I'm James Tittleman, and this is Meaningless Inventions. The year is 1969, and the United States is in absolute turmoil. The country is in the midst of the Vietnam War. Hurricane Camille ravages the East Coast. And Peter, Paul, and Mary's leaving on a jet plane is a number one hit. Morale couldn't be lower. There was one man, however, who was able to overlook all of these things and recognize another issue. An issue that many would say was not an issue at all. Well, it all started in Macon, Georgia, when a man named Jebediah Hodges was sitting at a local McDonald's and he accidentally took a sip of one of his friend's drinks. Jebediah did not taste coke like he had ordered. Instead, he got a mouthful of his friend's sweet tea. I mean, most people, having tasted the wrong drink, they just shake it off. I mean, sure, it's a slight inconvenience, but it's not really a big deal. But to Jebediah, it was a big deal. He was furious. So he started to think, there's got to be a way to prevent this. I shouldn't have to deal with this. Nobody should have to deal with this. You know, shit like that. What followed for Jebediah was months and months of hard work. He was racking his brain, knowing a solution had to exist. So he finally landed on his big invention. It's this top with little bubbles on it, and you push them in, and it lets you know what drink is in your cup. Again, it's not a major invention, but it's kind of nice, you know? Yeah, I remember. I, was, I remember that day pretty well, actually. See, I got the wrong drink, and I didn't think much of it at the time. And then a little bit later, the idea popped into my head for that little lid with, you know, the tabs on top of it, okay, you know, to make life a little bit easier for everybody. I mean, honestly, it didn't take me long at all. I mean, I had it sketched up, and the patent sold within a week. I mean, I really don't think words can accurately express how just fucking meaningless of an invention this lid is. Ah, Jebediah Hodges did absolutely nothing for humanity. Now, what's frustrating to me as an inventor is the fact that I have had countless better ideas than that silly darn little lid, okay? All right, but for whatever reason, I could never sell the patents on that. I mean, I don't want to say a bad given diet too much. His invention is what it is. Can you really expect that much from a bumfuck hill person who lives in Macon, Georgia? Look at this. This is a laser that gets rid of brain tumors. Okay? That's right. Eliminates brain tumors with just a click of a button. Nobody thought that. Nobody thought that's a good idea. All I'm saying is. Can you even name one great invention from the South? Exactly. The patent office said he didn't realize that the word tumor had four syllables in it. And that was after he quit laughing. Fucking white trash. 